This is Ted with Commute by Bike, reviewing the Strida LT folding bike. When people ride the Strida for the first time, they tend to say one of two things. They say, that's weird, but I could get used to it. Wait a second, check out this sweet, tight turn. All right, where was I? Oh yeah, the other thing that they tend to say is something like this. This is the most awful bike I've ever <laughs> ridden. Your focus is so much on trying to ride the bike. Imagine going amongst traffic or anything like that. Yes. You'd be in serious trouble. That was Olympic gold medalist Rebecca Romero. Yeah, her. I wonder what her commute is like. Is she really the kind of person you want evaluating a commuter bike? A bike that will be used on a city street, carried on a subway, and maybe, God forbid, used on a sidewalk? The fact is, if you're on a folding bike, any folding bike that folds to a relatively compact size, you're already making compromises with the ride. Look at how the axis of the steering stem is um, uh, deep into the groin territory. This accounts for the strange way the Strida feels when you ride it. That and the short wheelbase. Sometimes when riding the Strida, I felt like this. Other times, I felt a little more like this. The bike folds fairly easily, and you can roll it with one hand, say, through a subway station. I came to the conclusion that this would be a great bike for someone who didn't need to bike too far or too fast on their commute, but needed to bridge some short distances on a commute that also included some other modes of transportation, such as a train, a bus, or an elevator. Check out our full review of the Strida LT on commutebybike.com. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.